you may not think that you are perfect Your lips, your eyes, your thighs That's something to me But girl, I'm telling you, you're perfect Your skin, your curves, your smile That's on everything and everyone i am back with a new video if you're new here welcome and thanks for stopping by and if you're not new here and you've been with me for a while thanks for still being here and clicking on that video um if you guys have not subscribed yet for my newbies please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button so um today's video will be a continuation from my last natural hair video i did speak about it very very briefly that i was starting a challenge with myself when it comes to my natural hair i have been on this natural hair journey since 2010 um and it's been it's been a long ride but i can honestly say it's been enjoyable i've had some hiccups along the way hence why i'm starting this challenge uh, but for the most part i am happy that i decided to stop getting relaxers and I honestly will never go back. Before I get into the actual challenge and what I'm going to be doing, um, just a little brief backstory on why I decided to even do this challenge slash journey um, with my natural hair and myself. Um, I will be inserting videos and pictures just to go along so you can see where I came from and um, where I'm at and where I'm trying to get back to or even surpass where I was. So, um, I'm not gonna go back from 2010 and show you pictures of where I was and no, no, no. So back in 2018, I did my last um, blowout left check uh official trim i always do it every other january so i only do a left check in a official blowout every other january which means this january was supposed to be when i straighten my hair again do an unofficial left check and all that um but i decided back in october that i wasn't going to do that this january so when i did my official left check on my channel. I will link the video up on my channel up here, one or two, and it will be in the description box. When I filmed that video back in January of 2018, my hair was not where it's at right now. My hair was, as you can see in the video, my hair was healthy. Um, I did need a trim. I did a trim after I had an emotional moment i did eventually trim my hair um and then i continued doing what i was doing back then um as far as my regimen goes uh but then life happened and i stopped taking care of my hair like i neglected my hair so badly um prior to that video I had I, I've done prior to that video I did wash day routines but it was never my hair was never straightened so you can actually see my length but I will show you pictures of what my hair was when it was longer than it was in that last wash day routine that I filmed in January of 2018 my hair and I, without me realizing because like I said, I started neglecting my hair and I didn't realize that it was getting to the point that it is now. Back then, when my hair was that length, my hair was as healthy as it was then. Even the pictures on, um, that I posted when my hair was longer than it was in that video. All I was doing was wearing protective styles. And at that time, all I was wearing was wigs. So like that was my only protective style. I did have braids back in 2015 um i had braids twice i believe and that was it which wasn't normal for me because growing up i always had my hair braided like i kept my hair braided but once i got into wearing wigs it was just so convenient and that's what i stuck with so when i 
saw my hair in that video of 2000 when I filmed in 2018 I was hurt <laughs> um, because I realized that my hair had started dropping um, breaking off and at the time I didn't I, I don't know if I connected the dots as to why it was breaking off but now I know like it was stress <laughs> so from that moment from July I mean January 2018 up until October of 2019 my hair went from what's from that to this and I honestly did not know it had gotten that bad. Like, I knew my hair was breaking off. I knew my hair was dropping because I was extremely, extremely stressed out. After, you know, I don't want to talk about the situation again on my channel, but the situation I talked about in my comeback video, once when that happened, um, any and everything that, that, revolved around self-care wasn't going on so i was like extremely stressed out and it my hair showed it it was breaking off extremely badly on top of that i was neglecting my hair um at one point like i wasn't deep conditioning my hair i wasn't washing my hair um i wasn't moisturizing my hair i would just put my hair and styles and just was like okay whatever like I'll put a wig on and it was just like okay whatever and I knew that wasn't what I was supposed to be doing with my hair but I guess I didn't care <laughs> like just to be honest I guess I just didn't care so it wasn't until I started like wearing my puffs hence why I changed my name to bratty puffs my youtube game um that was my absolute favorite natural hair style i loved my puffs i miss my puffs um and my puffs will not return until 2021 and i will explain why in a few um but when i was doing that that style i'm actually gonna do a tutorial on that style but that style required a lot of got to be gel that style required a lot of this like I used <laughs> I used a lot of this and once I put that on my hair I would leave my hair in my puffs for about three weeks and I'll just do the process all over again like <laughs> without washing or anything it was just doing that so as like the months went on I could see that the size of my puffs changed and I think that's when it really hit me because I don't straighten my hair often but when your curly hair starts to look different that's when it's real and I think that's when it hit me so in October of last year 2019 yes, 2019. I decided that I have to go back to what I'm used to which is protective styles so like I need to give my hair a break um as much as I love my puffs I love my puffs <laughs> as much as I love my puffs I have to give it a break because I know once I do it it's just not, <laughs> I'm just gonna get comfortable with my hair like that and I can't I can't do that anymore so I decided that I was going to go on a journey where I only wear my hair in protective style like I don't wear my hair out at all that's how I used to be I used to take my hair out when my hair was extremely healthy I used to take my hair out wash deep condition and put it back up that's what I have to get back to. That's what I decided to do. Um, so I decided not to straighten my hair this January and wait until 
January of 2021, which means when I decided to do it in October, it will put me at a 14 and a half month, 14 and a half to 15 month journey of just wearing protective style. What I decided to do, um, my hair loves grease. My hair has always loved grease. Uh, nothing else keeps my hair moisturized the way grease keeps my hair moisturized. And I can't even say moisturized because grease is not a moisturizer. Um, it locks in the moisture. And it keeps my hair sealed for a while. So nothing keeps my hair sealed the way grease does. I know you've seen the... What is it? The Sulfur Egg Dugro Jamaican Black Castor Oil Challenge or whatever. Mine is something similar to that. Um, I just use a few different products. You can put water on your hair and seal it with the grease. But it won't last as long as you using some type of cream, butter, something like that. So I decided to use the Moisture Miracle um, Leave-In Cream. I've been using that for a while. I, I used that in my last wash day routine. On my wash day, I will still be using my Herbal Essence Hello Hydration Shampoo and, and or my Dawn because when you're using grease, you have to have some type of sulfate to get that product off your hair. Uh, and I will be going back to doing rice water uh, treatments every wash day. I used to do rice water. Um, I used to use rice water on my hair. There's honestly no reason why I stopped. <laughs> I just stopped. And that's one thing that I want to incorporate back into my routine. So every wash day, I will be doing a rice water treatment. I will be deep conditioning. I will be using the leave-in cream as well as my grease mixture. Okay, so, you know, once you put grease on your hair, once it's sealed, nothing is getting in and nothing is getting out. So, I put it on my hair. Once I seal it, I put it on my hair. I leave it for two weeks. I do put the grease mixture on my scalp once or twice within the two weeks, an additional time. And then I have I wash it out. If you want to go on this journey with me, that would be awesome sauce. You can uh, leave a comment and let me know if that's what you want to do. I don't mind. Um, if you use or have used any of the products that I'm using, leave me a comment and let me know how you like it. What were your results? And if you want to keep up with my journey and you want any updates, all you have to do is come back to this video, leave me a comment, and I'll let you know. And, or you can hit the notification bell and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos and any updates. To make sure I don't ramble anymore, leave me a comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.